Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and this message reads like this. Hello my brother, how are you? Can you please post my story on European Confessions? I am one of your followers here. I am a 37 year old man and I am not married because my parents, they said that they already found a woman for me. This thing, it happened a long time ago, even now my brother, whenever I try to bring a woman of my dreams into my home, my mother sometimes, she can travel all the way from the village so as to chase away the woman that I'll be staying with. At first, when all of these things started happening to me, soon after my parents had relocated from the city going to the village, I thought that, oh well, maybe it was because I was staying in my parents' home. Maybe that was why they were trying to control the way that I was living my life. I then decided to look for another accommodation. I still remember that the month when I looked for another accommodation, things were not okay for me. I was really broke so much that I had to speak with my boss. He was the one who gave me some extra money. But still enough, my brother, when I had looked for another accommodation, this was a one-roomed house. But after I started staying with this other lady that I had been dating, my mom, when she heard that I was now staying with a woman, she then traveled all the way from the village. And when she came, I didn't know where she was going to sleep. I thought that maybe she would go and sleep at our family house. But my brother, my mother decided to stay with me for two good weeks in that same one room. The first night, I thought that maybe tomorrow, when I come back from work, my mom would have returned back to our family house, but that was not the case. When I returned back home, my mother, she was still there, sharing the same one room with her daughter-in-law and with her son. And when it was time for us to sleep, my mom suggested that she was the one who was supposed to sleep on the bed. Me and my wife, we were supposed to sleep on the floor and this was like a taboo. My mom could not sleep on the same bed in which I sleep with other women. That was not a good thing. She did all of these things until that lady that I was dating decided to pack her bags. Then she left and she dumped me. When this whole thing was over, I then decided to listen to my parents when they said that they had this other woman that they wanted me to date. I then said, it is okay, mom, you can show me this lady that you want me to date. Then they brought that lady, this lady, my brother. Yes, I agree that she is a woman that is highly educated, but this lady right now, she is around 46 years of age and I do not have a child. All that I want if I will ever get married is for me to have a baby. How are we going to start a family when this lady is way older than I am? But my parents, after I had refused, then they said that I am a son who is like an ob disobedient son and I will never receive their blessings. Ever since my mom placed this soft curse on my life. No matter what I try to do, my things just goes nowhere. I have tried so much hassles, but no matter what I try to hassle, I will always get broke. And my mother told me that if I do not give you my blessings, then you are not going to be anything in this world. And when I look at my friends, the ones that I was in university with, most of them, my brother, they are living a very good life. But as for me, I am someone who is always living from paycheck to paycheck. Any money that comes into my pockets, it immediately flies out of my pocket and I am tired of this life. I just want out. But when I went and when I spoke with my mother concerning this issue of her returning the blessings upon my life, she then smiled at me and she said, my son, this whole thing, it is in your hands. If you want me to bless you, then you have to go and get married to that woman. 
I then asked her if she does not want any grandchildren at all. She then said yes, she does want me to give her a grandchild, but she is not in a rush, my brother. How can my mother say that she is not in a rush, yet I am now 37 years of age. I do not have any child at all. It is like my mom, she has this spiritual sensor. If I get into a relationship with a woman without the knowledge of my mother, the relationship will be going so smoothly, but the moment that my mom will learn about this relationship, there will be fire in that relationship. The relationship will get so toxic so much that you ask yourself so many questions like, this woman that is now being so toxic towards me, did she ever loved me when we got into this relationship or maybe she was just lying to me. My brother, emotionally I have suffered. I am a man that does not have any confidence at all. And the kind of a career that I have, I am supposed to be a confident man. But whenever I am doing some of my business dealings, whenever I think about this battle that is going on between all of these women that I have tried to get into a relationship with most of the times, I then end up losing focus and losing all of my confidence. My brother, I have come here asking for help. I do not even know what to do anymore. I have one of my cousin brother. He is staying there in Australia. When I spoke with him, he then decided to connect me with this other white lady. And me and that lady, we thought that in the end we were going to get married to each other. And my brother, the moment that I told my mom that I was dating this other white lady, and at that time she was 30 years of age, after my mom had learned about this relationship, she then asked for that white lady's number. She then started speaking with that woman. When she started speaking with that woman, I thought that maybe she just wanted to create a mother-in-law and a daughter-in-law relationship but you know the kind of a message that she eventually sent to this woman she said you know that we are from zim and that lady said yes so what is the problem she then said my son came and he spoke with me and he said that he does not love you as such but he is only looking for an opportunity so that by the time that you get married to him he is going to get out of zim on that ticket of him being married to an australian citizen this message my brother it really damaged my relationship i tried so hard to explain the situation to this lady that i was dating but since we were people that had never seen each other face to face and when our relationship was damaged like this there was no recovery that woman then eventually walked out of my life my brother i am now left with no option my mother keeps on pressurizing me to get married to this lady why she wants me to get married to this older lady i do not even know and my mom she has a very beautiful relationship with this lady when my mom is here in the city sometimes she even goes and sleep over at that woman's place i do not even know why my mom favors this woman so much over her own son Dear listeners, right there was a message that I received from our dear brother. Please let us try to speak with him in the comment section.